Welcome to the Character Chronicles, the people show where we check the pulse of Husker Nation, brought to you by Nebraska Spine Hospital. I have two different gut reactions to this game. All right, now, first of all, Scott Frost had a legit chance to get his first win on the road versus a ranked team. He's now 0-9 versus ranked teams. But I got a split gut, and you can react one of two ways. Number one, it's the maddening feeling that you feel. Okay, special teams, penalties, punting, and tackling on punts, and penalties in the offensive line. Maddening. I, I, I don't have the final stats. At one point, we had more than twice as many penalties as them, almost three times as many penalty yards, at halftime, the offensive line had four penalties by themselves and had given up four sacks at that point in the game. I already addressed the not-so-special special teams. I mean, Connor Colt makes his field goals. They weren't long, but we got to start somewhere. So we created new issues in the punk game. Multiple issues. I, I can't help but wonder how much better we'd look if we didn't have a thousand penalties every game, the little things, why, why can't we do the simple little things? We shouldn't be having these type of issues in year four under a head coach. That's one way to look at it. And that is half of how my, like, it's like literally cut down the middle. Okay. That's this house side of how my gut feels. Literally, that's how it feels. This side kind of feels like we just played two ranked teams on the road and had legit opportunities to win both games. Okay, if we could just do the simple little things, not false start, make our consistent field goals, which we did tonight, punt the ball farther, tackle when we punt the ball so they don't return it for a touchdown. Okay, we could actually be like pretty good. And it's my, my, you can't ask for much more out of Adrian Martinez. I know the defense gave up the score in overtime, but they do start with the ball on the 25-yard line. The defense is not the issue. I'm proud of their effort. I'm proud of the black shirts. You can always get better, okay? Ramir Johnson appears to be our starting running back, or at least he was for this game. The defense played well. You can't ask for much more out of Adrian Martinez. You can certainly ask for more out of the offensive line, protection-wise, penalty-wise. We were this close to winning both games. It's been a while since we have played that well versus ranked teams and looked like had legit chances to win. A top five team, top 20 team. So that's how this part feels. Like we're this close if we can just fix the little things. The things that I'm working on my sixth grade team with right now. If we could just do that, by God, we could be pretty good. This is where Scott Frost comes in, okay? Because we're this close to being a pretty good football team. Either Scott Frost and his staff, especially on offense, especially my guy, Greg Austin, guy I played with, the offensive line coach, are going to figure it out. And Husker fans are going to be rewarded for their patience. Or we're going to continue to flounder and struggle and be a below average football team like we've been the past half a decade. That's why Scott Frost gets paid the big bucks. I feel bad adding this part in because there's positives to take. There's nauseating things to take out of this. There's both. That's legit how I feel. I feel bad saying this, but I put out on Facebook and Twitter. I, when, it went, when we went to overtime, I said, are we going to find a way to win or find a way to lose? I'm not going to lie. If I'd have been answering my own tweet, I would have said, until proven otherwise, we're going to find a way to lose. I hope we can start to prove otherwise. That comes down to coaching because it's simple little things. All right, it's stuff that needs to be fixed. Until next time, Husker Nation, go big red.
Let me know your thoughts, and always remember, throw the bow. Thanks again to our sponsor, Nebraska Spine Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, when it's your spine, you do not want to mess around and experience matters. That's why you can trust the experts at Nebraska Spine Hospital, the region's only spine-specific hospital. They are the best at what they do.